So today Apple has officially released iOS 12.3 beta 1 to register developers and public beta testers. You'll most likely see this beta later this afternoon or tomorrow at the latest. Now iOS 12.3 at the moment, the current build number for this software is 16F5117. H. Now with this new build, we have a new TV icon on the springboard as you see there, a revamped TV icon, which is for Apple's new upcoming Apple TV Plus service and we'll get to all this here in a few seconds. But Apple just continues to push out software updates for iOS and this is very, very good of course because it keeps our devices with the latest security patches and additional new features that we get every now and then. But this software will not be released anytime soon. This will probably be released sometime in the summer. And we'll get to older devices like the iPhone 5S or iPhone SE that I have in the background here because something rather interesting. Apple is planning to release the Apple TV Plus application for older devices as well. And Apple today also released this application, a revamped UI for the Apple TV on the actual Apple TV set-top box. So the third generation and fourth generation do have the new user interface, which is really smart by Apple by releasing this product on older devices, which also could indicate that some of these older iPhones, like the iPhone SE or the iPhone 5S, will not make it to iOS 13 in the fall. So we'll have to wait and see for all that. But let's jump into the Apple TV application and take a quick look what's inside. Now on the top, you find right there your account where you can manage your account directly on this particular category here all the sources and applications that may be uh, linked to your Apple TV Plus service will be here. You can toggle those on or off, manage subscriptions, you can redeem gift cards, add funds to the Apple TV, clear play history, and signed out is also on this category right here. So on the top, the first thing you find here is all your categories, your movies, you also find TV shows right here, and we have some sports. And of course, we have right here the kids section as well. So all these categories are available on the new Apple TV application. Everything looks very organized. I really like the way Apple is going about with this user interface. Now, the upcoming or the upcoming next categories is here. Depending on what you've been watching, that's what's coming up next. So if you want to continue watching, right below that, we have what to watch. And this is going to be categories based on what you've already been watching. So suggestions pretty much for you is also going to be suggestions. You see right here, if we tap into this C all you have your interface here which is really nice i really like the way apple is doing this i'll repeat that again because it just looks very very nice at the bottom here i was surprised to see that we have a dedicated category here for try free so these are going to be tv shows you know different channels that you can try for free in a subscription and of course everything's going to be tied to the tv application here but this is going to be part of apple tv plus so i'm really happy to see that there's a lot of channels joining the try free categories there you have your features you also have Hulu integrations, ABC, etc. You have tons of categories to choose from here. So Apple is definitely getting really serious about this TV service. If I was Netflix, I'd be worried. Anyway, the library category is here, depending on everything that you've been watching, that's gonna be resigning right there. And then you have your search categories, which has your trending tab, and then your trending TV shows right there as well. You can go ahead and start searching right away. So if we wanna search for something, there I'm searching for South Park, so it's giving me South Park there at the top and you have other suggestions based on what you start typing of course this is just a very quick first look at the tv application again apple will most likely continue to add features to this application if we head on over here to settings and we scroll down you find here the new tvs category as well with the new revamped icon there for settings as well so if we jump in here right here we can manage our notifications for the tv service the up next the feature sports and the features categories, of course, notifications and group notifications you can manage here as well by application. You also have your iTunes videos category here where you can manage and play back using the cell connection if you wish to do so. Purchase rentals right here. You can select if you wanna go HD or standard definition. Apple is really, really serious about this TV service and I'm kinda of happy because I wanted something fresh. I do have Netflix, but I wanted someone to come out with something new. Me being an Apple user and having all these Apple products is gonna be a great way to enjoy a lot of these TV services on the iPhone. So in terms of performance, of course, I can't really talk about that much, but let's take a quick look here at the iPhone 5S because we're not missing out on pretty much nothing with the TV service. That's why I'm saying Apple may be uh, aiming to bring this to older devices because some of these older devices may not even make it to iOS 13 in the fall. So why not bring these services to this uh, older devices as well? So Apple is making a really, really good move here with the service. They're really trying to push Netflix out of the way and be king 
of the TV service because they have their iPhones and they have their iPods and their iPads and they know they have those customers. So just a quick first look at iOS 12.3 beta one. Of course, I will continue testing the software, the battery, any additional new features. I can't really talk about a whole lot of the software because I've only had it installed for about an hour or two and I've just been browsing through it and playing around with it for not a very long time. But of course, the follow-up video will be headed your way uh, by the end of the week. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this quick update on iOS 12.3 and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.